welcome back to the L1 YouTube channel where you'll be taking a plunge into our unique philosophy for life and design. If people knew how hard I worked to get my mastery, it wouldn't seem so wonderful at all. Michelangelo. Hmm, let that sink in. What Michelangelo means is that nothing worthwhile happens just by accident, right? Just a little nugget to think about. So, in today's video, we're jumping into a topic that might make some heads spin. But wait, it's actually not that hard of a concept to understand. Midway through the video, you will have to get your elementary math brain on into gear. So are you ready? Alright, let's go! Have you ever wondered why a good majority of sciences, like chemistry, engineering, physics, or astronomy, require mathematical equations or formulas? It's almost like they're one and the same. What if we were told that art has everything to do with crunching numbers too? I bet that sends you through a downward spiral of memories you'd rather not think about. You know, like at the end of the school year cramming for a math test? <laughs> fun times. Yeah, very fun times. And whether we realize it or not, we utilize geometric proportions to create art more often than we think. This formula is known as the golden ratio. Just like music holds a special place in people's hearts universally, the golden ratio is a universal visual preference. Wait a minute, hold on. Slow down just a bit. So you're saying that it's a phenomenon that works all over the world, regardless of cultural background, thought process, or their unique history of art? Bingo! The golden ratio is a form of composition that humans simply cannot get away from. Since the time we're born, we have an unexplainable and inherent desire for beauty and symmetry. Of course, nowadays many people actually favor asymmetry, which is the lack of symmetry, but only when it's done right. Asymmetry is obviously not the norm, but it's one of those preferences that have become quite trendy in the last couple of years due to its unique proportions. I mean, people are totally into standing out from the rest of the crowd nowadays. And as with any design, a well thought out aesthetic that's unique to the viewer has potential to outshine its conventional competitors. Before we get into the technical aspect, it's important to realize that all of nature and divinely created things have more or less a unique proportion in common. Take for example, photography. For those of us who've taken photography at any level, we are well aware that the story we tell is only as good as our framing skills, after lighting and color grading, of course. For instance, the most picturesque landscape full of rolling hills sloping down at a 45 degree angle could easily lose its charm if, say, the primary subject, which is a little house nestled in a vast field of flowers, is placed at the very center of the photo. Well, sounds good to me, you say, but really, there's just a bit of a problem with that image. If the photographer's true intention is to lead us to the center of the image, then he or she would have to include two lines of symmetry starting from the opposing corners while guiding our eyes to the middle of the photo, as that will become our new primary point of focus. Kinda like a tiny house at the end of a road. So, in order to create the most pleasant and ideal picture of those rolling hills, the photographer might frame the landscape so that the little house is slightly off to one side and away from the center. This unwritten rule is what we refer to as the Golden Ratio or Divine Ratio. And this is where things can get a little hairy, because you see, this intuitive idea of balance is technically a mathematical problem known as the Fibonacci Sequence. The ratio within the sequence is somewhere between 1 to 1.618, or if you want to be exact, 1.618033988749895. This special sequence of numbers looks like this. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. For starters, in order to find the next number in the sequence, the first two numbers have to be added together and then we repeat the same pattern with the following numbers. If we want to get the ratio, we divide the second number by the first, then the third number by the second, then the fourth by the third, as we repeat the division pattern till we hit 34. This ensures that we end up with figures that range anywhere from 1 to 1.5 or 1.61 to 2, just to name a few. Okay, maybe I should walk you through it in more detail. For the numerical sequence, try 
1 plus 1 equals 2, and then 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 8 equals 13, 8 plus 3 equals 21, 13 plus 21 equals 34. And now for the ratio, do 1 divided by 1 equals 1, 2 divided by 1 equals 2, 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5, 5 divided by 3 equals 1.666, 8 divided by 5 equals 1.6, 13 divided by 8 equals 1.625, 21 divided by 13 equals 1.61538462, and 34 divided by 21 equals 1.61904762. So what's the point of this, you ask? Well, this list of seemingly random numbers is found all over nature. Personally, we think this is both beautiful and astonishing. If these Fibonacci proportions are hard to mentally draw, picture this proportion by creating a golden rectangle or golden ratio with circles, in which all these numbers are placed according to their values and sizes. And once these imaginary grids are in place, we can draw a spiral starting from the square belonging to 1, which is a little off-center if we were to draw it on paper. Continue to draw a curved line through the corners of the grids, and eventually land on the corner of 34. This abstract cone-shaped spiral is what constitutes whether or not an object or work of art is well proportioned. Even as we look at the human anatomy, we can measure ourselves from the very sole of our feet to the top of our crown, which automatically draws our eyes to the belly button. All of these measurements that we find in the real world are loosely set to the golden ratio, which is why we instinctively find certain faces to be outstandingly pleasant to look at. In all honesty, that particular person's eyes may not be anything out of the ordinary, or the nose may not look anything special in and of itself, but still, the face just stands out. We naturally crave harmonious silhouettes and designs, thus the reason why some works of art triumph over others, even if they're similar in nature. The one little tweak in golden ratio can make all the difference. It is this ingenious ratio that we live by on a daily basis without our ever knowing it. Here at Elwyn, as we naturally scan our surroundings in order to find beauty, we utilize the ratio when we design our window blinds and fabric patterns. And that is why the old masters like Michelangelo and Da Vinci caught the attention of every viewer. Sure, their matchless talents presented them with some unique opportunities, especially for their era but it was their strategic utilization of nature's tools, like the rule of thirds and the golden ratio, that set their work apart from many others. In what ways can you start using the golden ratio? Tell us in the comments below, and make sure to give our video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe.